Officials say it needed to be closed down. Well, they're saying it didn't hit one of the markers or measures for academics, but parents and kids and teachers say the school just needs a little bit more time after a couple hard years. I love Alcor a lot and never want to leave. Both students and parents came together to express just how much the school has meant to them. My son is a success story for Encore Academy. He started out in kindergarten, had some struggles, but these teachers supported him. They had counseling services, and he just continued to blossom. Saying it's not fair that they didn't have a say in the school closing. As a student here at Encore, I feel hurt. When we express our views and opinions, they are taken into consideration by our teachers. Out of nowhere, the decision to close our school came without notice, and no one asked for our opinion. The superintendent recommended its closure because it missed an academic marker, but some say there were outside factors. If we had not gone through the pandemic and we had not had the hurricane and we had the same performance, I would be handing over the charter and say, look, Take it back. We don't deserve this. We have not done by, right by kids. Terry Smith found the academy 11 years ago and says this is just another blow to the kids. Many of them have been here since pre-K and kindergarten. So it just doesn't seem right that we should be putting that burden on families and kids again. She says the most concerning thing about this decision is how it's being handled. It is customary. It is their own protocol. It, Orleans Parish that you get a recommendation and then there's like a 30 day period where uh, people can review the re recommendation, give feedback and be heard. It all happened in one day and as a result, nobody had a voice in it. That's why she says the community is coming together to fight back. <laughs> Hoping they don't have to say goodbye to a place they call their second home. And the last 12 years has been remarkable. I'm grateful. Now Superintendent Dr. Avis Williams says this process is necessary because they want to make sure every student has the same academy and learning process because if one's failing the kids could fall behind but school leaders at the school say they're still hoping for something to move on because the decision technically isn't final just yet. Yeah looks like a lot of kids there hurt feelings tonight. Mm -hmm. All right, Cassie, thank you so much. And NOLA Public Schools, they say that their enrollment and family services team will work to help families as they decide on a new school for the 2023-24 school year. And the district will be holding at parent meetings at each school before the winter break. We had a right on the 